What is going on, people? Welcome back to more of the content drought while we wait for Friday's live stream. Today, we are diving into a bit more of the progression of a node and how it may or may not impact your leveling experience and perhaps slow you down a bit from rushing through all that content to hit max level. But before we get into the details of that, just think that 85% of you are still not subscribed to this channel. So change that so you don't miss out on any of the Great Ashes news coming down the road from gameplay to news and content and you know whatever channels give these days and hopefully someday alpha 2 content in 2027 so we know there are a lot of people out there who aren't in it for the low level questing and story and exploration of the amazing world vera is building they want to rush through to the end game content hitting max level which is 50 as fast as they possibly can so they can start gearing up for those raids and sieges and all of that but ashes is built a little different than your traditional MMO because it doesn't have your traditional leveling specific zones taking you through on all those stories as the world opens up to you and you go out and explore. It has nodes, which build up the world around those nodes with various quests, dungeons, and all of that, which can take anywhere from a few hours to many weeks to hit that next level, which hasn't quite been specified yet. But if you played Alpha 1, well, node stage 3 came rather quickly, but this was for testing purposes, and at launch, you should expect node stage 3 to happen within several days, not several hours, and Metropolis in many weeks, so like more than 3. And if it takes 45 days to hit max level, level but 60 days for a node to hit a metropolis stage will you be slowed down by this the answer is no i don't think so there is plenty of things to do to grant you xp and although you could possibly level through an entire set of a node's quests and wonder what's next you would have the option to travel to another node and embark on these quests which should give you a different experience as there are many different factors to play into what type of content a node gives you from the influential race of that nodes the mayor the node level what amenities the node has and a lot more but if you made yourself cozy in a specific node that you call your home and don't want to give your xp to another node that doesn't matter to you there is still stuff to do the majority of the things you do will gain you xp in those 45 days it'll take to hit max level questing events crafting processing gathering exploration pve content such as dungeons and killing mobs or even pvp content will allow you to gain progress on that level in each one of these progression paths will have its own way to level within that path as well. So you don't have to stick with just questing to hit max level if you feel you are running low on quests in that current node. But honestly though, I would recommend not rushing through the content. The world of Vera is massive and it is said to really get the player out and exploring and for those of you who like checking under every rock and behind every waterfall, there will be plenty of things for players to discover, especially with seasons changing the world and revealing various hidden paths that you couldn't get to before so honestly i would take my time going through it on your first trip through with an alt that might be different but it's not about the end game in ashes and you are going to want to take the time to build up some of your profession paths such as crafting so you can make money when you hit max level the economy will play a huge part in setting yourself up for success and a bit of early help will definitely benefit you and if you ignore this advice well intrepid really doesn't seem to like the term end game anyways. There isn't one singular big bad at the end of the line for you to defeat to get the best gear. The world of Vera is ever changing and ever evolving and honestly you should probably take the time to enjoy it because you could miss out on some epic events that don't come back depending on how your server progresses. Day one will feel different from month one, month one will feel different from month two, no matter what level character you are. Because player actions are going to change the world, unlock new content, lock out old content and really give you a wide variety of content to choose from even if you aren't level 50. And if you are one of those players looking for exploits to gain lots of XP fast to level up, well at that point yes, node progression will probably slow you down if you're just continuing to find XP exploits to level up. Because that is not how the game is meant to be played. And having a system that controls your content should really help with some of those speedrunners out there who are trying to hit 50 on day 1. There are a lot of people like that and I think the systems that Intrepid put in place are going to deter the majority of player 
progress from doing that. What are your thoughts on leveling versus node progression in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes of Creation, feel free to make an account using my referral link in the description below where all referrals will go towards benefiting this channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.